Hello, my name is Ben from Omago Dopostad and welcome to today's show. On today's show, we'll be taking a deep dive into breeding and to be specific, breeding of Doppler sheep. It's important even as you set out to clearly define what your breeding objectives are. For us here at Amago Doppers, it's been a journey. Uh, there were days we didn't have any breeding objectives. We've learned it the hard way. And when it comes to breeding objectives, we have two broad objectives. One is to breed sheep for the lamb or the meat industry. And secondly, is to breed sheep for the genetic improvement, whereby we sell rams and ewes to fellow farmers to upgrade their flock through better genetics. And when it comes to breeding for meat or for lamb, there are certain objectives we set out when we are looking at what would be a good candidate for breeding for lamb or for meat. In our early years, we really did not pay so much attention to the need to have breeding objectives. Basically, it used to be putting in the ram together with the ewes and hoping for the best. And I think for many farmers that has been the case. But as we did our research and benchmarking with some of the best breeders out there in the world, we noted it's very important for one to have breeding objectives prior to you starting out your breeding season. And we have continuously tried to improve on that. And currently what we have here at Amago Doppers are mainly two broad categories in terms of our market scope. We breed sheep for lamb and slaughter and we also breed sheep for genetics which is basically to offer fellow farmers good top quality genetics in terms of breeding rams and breeding ewes. And another thing that we noted over the time is that by you having your broad or your breeding objectives in place, and it's even better if you're able to put them down on paper, if not <laughs> inputted on a computer or laptop somewhere, because then you will find that you're now no longer shooting in the dark, whereby you know you're hoping for the best, but now you're following a scientific and an orderly way of breeding your flock. For example, if you are breeding for, uh, let's say, the meat or the lamb market, then you're driven by two main broad uh, uh, points, which is your weight gain and your growth rate. So you're looking for a ram that signifies that, both in character and in pedigree. So it's very important, even as you select your ram, that that particular ram is offering you very good uh, weight gains and very good growth rate. And this you are able to pick from its records, the records of its father and the records of its pedigree line. So, and that will also save you quite a bit in terms of both time and also resources. Here at Amago Doppers, what we try to do, especially when you're breeding for the meat or lamb industry, is to pair ewes who symbolize and signify those traits together with a ram that also has fast growth rate and can offer good weight gain. So it's very important that you take your time to actually do the pairing. Select your use based on what your market wants together with the RAM. That way you are making sure that even your success is more guaranteed than just shooting in the dark. So what we try to do is to ensure like now for example these are some of our three-month, two-month-old uh, lambs 
and clearly you can see even with the drought that they are growing at a faster growth rate than what you'd expect if you did not do good pairing and also their weight gain is quite up there yeah he is a one month now going to one month two weeks old ram and you can already see the growth is there so this can only happen if you are able to take the time to actually do proper pairing of both your ram your breeding ram and your breeding use so in terms of breeding objectives clearly state them out let let you be clear in terms of what is your addressable market so if for example your market are looking for good quality meat that is both tender and has flavor that clearly spells out that you need to have your lambs that are born that within a period of about between four to six months they are able to give you a carcass of anywhere between 70 to 25 kilos and that can only be achieved if both your management and indeed your genetics is in play and that can only be achieved if you're very clear on what your breeding objectives are prior to your breeding season. Genetics play a very critical role in how or how early you can get your sheep to market because what you're looking for is faster growth rate and faster weight gain. For us, it has been a journey here at Amago Doppers. When we initially started out, due to poor genetics, our sheep were taking close to one year, three months to get to a market weight of 40 to 45 kilos. But now we're able to achieve that within a period of six to seven months of age. And that is highly due to the quality or the upgrade in terms of our genetics. So I would really urge you to not only work hard on your management, but ensure also your genetics are of the very best that you can be able to get. Because with good genetics, plus good management, plus good feed, then you'll be sure that you'll be able to make your commercial and financial objectives. One of the high seasons, that we target for is the December season to ensure that we are able to serve our clients very good or very uh, the best quality meat that we can be able to attest to. We ensure that we have lambs being born in March and April of this year. How does that happen? First, we put in our breeding objectives as early as June, 2022. At that time, we start our selection process of ensuring that we have matched the breeding ram to certain specific breeding ewes that offer the same or the kind of qualities that we are looking for for sheep that can give us good carcass at an early age. Then we do the joining. And what you find is that within the month of October, then we put in the ram together with the ewes. And that's how we're able to achieve a lambing in March or April of the next year. Hello, thank you for being part of our community. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you. Uh, we are going together and also encourage you, for you who have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we put in a new content and please also leave comments behind and let us know how you're getting on with your farming journey as we all grow together happy farming